Okay, example number two. So for this one over here, I said I'm going to do one where the x and y possibly have coefficients. Okay, so can you see over here, my, four, my x has a coefficient of 4, my y has a coefficient of negative 2. Okay, and then over here with this one here, my x and y don't have coefficients. Okay, so remember we have four possibilities for making something the subject of the formula. One, two, three, four. And you get to pick whichever one you want. But always try, like I said, we, we mathematicians, we always pick the easiest way out. So always try and look for one that has um, a coefficient of 1 or else it has a, uh, sorry, it has a coefficient of 1 and a power of 1. If it doesn't, if all of them have coefficients, then it's fine. You can pick whichever one you want. But as a general rule, try and pick the, the one that doesn't have anything in front of it. Like for example, if I had to pick this one here to make this x the subject of the formula, it would have been a bit difficult in the sense that I'd have to divide everything by 4 and then 10 divided by 4 is now a fraction, right? So that's why I'm saying try and pick something that's the easiest, okay? Doesn't mean you don't have, you, you're not allowed to do what I just said. You're allowed to, but pick whatever is the easiest, right? I'm going to pick for this one here y. Doesn't matter which one you want from here because both of them, their coefficients are positive 1. Okay, so I'm going to say y is equal to 4 minus x. And if y is equal to 4 minus x, I'm going to name this equation 1. And then I'm going to name this equation 2. So now I'm going to say sub equation 1 into equation 2. Equation 1, I mean sorry, equation 2 is 4x minus 2y equals 10. 4x minus 2. Every time I see a y, I'm going to replace it with 4 minus x. 4 minus x equals 10. And then this here is going to give me 4x. Now I'm going to distribute this negative 2 into here and into here. This here is going to give me minus 8. Negative 2 times negative x gives me positive 2x equals 10. I'm going to keep all my variables x on this side, all my numbers on this side. So I have 6x equals plus 8. 6x equals 18. Divide by coefficient of x. Divide by coefficient of x. x equals 3. But I'm not yet done because remember I needed to solve simultaneously and it was for two unknown variables which means that I need to put the answer for y. y is equal to 4 minus x. y is equal to 4 minus 3. y is equal to 1. And there we go. That's our simultaneous equation.